Hey guys, this is Brent with Western Equipment, and in this video, we're gonna be talking specifically about mower blades and the main three kinds that are out there. So if you'll stick with me here, we'll get started. Real quick, before we get started, if you find this video helpful and if you like this video, we just ask that you'd hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any other great content that we'll be putting out there. So let's go ahead and jump right into these blades. So what we have here on the table in front of me, starting over here to my left, is going to be a standard three-in-one blade. Here in the middle, we're gonna have an example of a mulching blade, and here to the right, we're going to have a high lift blade. Now. You can typically get these three styles of blade in any size of mower deck, whether it be that 42 inch, that 48, that 54, 60, or even up to the 72. So it's very important that we know the differences between these blades so we can make sure that whenever we go to purchase that mower, depending on the application we're going to be doing, whether it be just our standard side discharge, or maybe we're gonna be using this mower for mulching, or even for bagging or material collecting, we need to know the differences between these blades to make sure we get the right one for our application. So some of the things that we'll be going over on these blades are going to be such things as the cutting edges and how long they are. Also, we'll be going over the difference in the height here of the lip that's on these blades, and then also the difference in the change in the cutting edge, whether it changes heights or it stays flat. So starting here with the standard three-in-one, this is what a standard three-in-one blade would look like. Now what this means for that standard three-in-one is that this blade can be used for whether it, whether it be site discharge, mulching, or bagging. So this blade is specifically designed to do all three of those things. Now what makes it that way for one is going to be, we'll start here at the end. As you can see, we do have a little bit of an angle here on this blade. Now it's pretty flat, but you can see that it does make that angle. And so what that does is whenever we have an angle at the end of our mower blades, that is going to actually change how much airflow is going on underneath that deck. And airflow is a very important part to the functionality of our mower and the functionality and how well our mower is going to cut. So we will typically see that raised edge on the on blades here. So this blade will do that. It will raise that grass up, create plenty of suction to be able to do all three of those features, whether it be pushing it out, mulching it, or pushing it back to the bagger. Now next what we'll look here is the at the cutting surface. And as we see, we have a fairly long cutting surface here. And you'll also notice that we do have that dual height cutting surface. So as you can see here, we start low out on the outside edge where we would have our initial cut. And then whenever we move back, we have a small portion here that is raised. Now the reason for this is to help with that mulching feature of this blade. Because whenever we're looking at mulching, we're looking at getting the most surface area, of cutting surface area on the clippings, and then also having a dual height of cut here. Now the importance of that dual height of cut, having a lower section and a higher section is so that whenever those clippings are turning and churning around underneath the bottom of the deck there, that they are getting hit in a lower spot and a higher spot, just giving you more chance of getting that material good and mulched up like we would want if we were using this for mulching. So that there, like I said, is the standard three in one blade. Now moving here to the middle, we have our mulching blade. Now what we'll look at here first off, like we said, is that we do have that lip on the end of the blade. So as you can see there, we're gonna have a much sharper lip than we have on the standard three-in-one right here. So you can see just the difference in those. So what that's going to be for once again is creating that airflow. Now, whenever we're mulching, we wanna have plenty of air moving and plenty of suction going on underneath that deck for one, to be able to raise that grass up nice and tall so we get a good clean cut. And also to keep that grass underneath as long as we can to make sure that we are getting a good mulch on that grass. Now, like we talked about before on the standard three-in-one, we're gonna look a little closer here at the cutting edge. And as you see, we have a lot longer cutting surface here. And the main thing here that different, differentiates this blade from the standard three-in-one is that our raised portion has a lot more cutting surface 
than it does on the standard three in one. Now this is very important that we have both again that dual height. So we have that lower cutting edge that's going to be the initial cut. And then we have that higher edge there with that longer cutting surface to make sure that we are getting a very good mulch on that grass, being able to get that ground up nice and small so we can fall back down into our grass as we plan to do with a mulching feature. Now next up is going to be our high lift blade. And this is typically the blade that we are going to use in bag applications but this blade can also be used in our side discharging also what this does is mainly on the high lift what differentiates it from the other two styles is once again the lip at the end so as we can see here our angle on this blade actually starts about midway up on the blade now if we look at that as compared to the mulching blade we can see that our mulching blade doesn't start until about two-thirds back on the blade here Whereas on our high lift, it starts about center there, which is going to create, like I said, even more airflow. So we're making sure that with this high lift, we're bringing that grass up nice and tall. We're creating the most airflow we can so that we're able to push that material from the deck back to the bagger. Now, like I said, these are also going to work great for your side discharge applications as you're going to be, be creating plenty of airflow here. You'll see a lot of increased outflow with a high lift blade. As for one, you're going to be raising that grass up nice and tall, creating tons of airflow to be able to push that material out of the deck and a lot of times get a really good even uh, disbursement whenever we're using our high lift blades here. Now one other question that we get is, is there a certain type of blade that I should use on a certain type of grass? Now we have all sorts of different grasses here across the U.S. as we know such things as fescue, Bermuda, we have Kentucky blue stem, all of these different types of grasses that we're going to be cutting and the answer is that it's not really about the type of blade for the type of grass. What we're looking for here with these different blades is what type of application that we are trying trying to get out of our mower. So mainly just remember that whenever we're using our standard three in one, that it can be used for all three of those functions. If we are going to be mulching, we definitely wanna be using that mulching blade. And if we're bagging, the best option here is going to be our high lift blade. Now also what we'll see is, is that a lot of times with different kits, such as mulching kits and bagging kits, those will come with a certain type of blade. So if you're getting that mulching kit, more than likely it is coming with a mulching blade and with a bag bagging kit, it is coming with a high lift blade. So another question we get is, do I actually need to change these out since my mower comes with that standard three in one? And my answer is always yes. If they're going to be sending you these blades with that kit, I would go ahead and make that change so you get the best results as possible. As the standard three in one is really more for just a catch all and it will do it. But if you're looking for the best performance out of those attachments and out of those kits, I would definitely recommend going ahead and changing those blades out. So guys, I hope this video was helpful. I hope this was able to answer any of those questions that you may have had about your mower blades and what kinds you need to use. So if you did like this video and if it did help you out, we just ask that you'd hit that like button. And also, if you felt like I left anything out and you have any other questions, make sure to leave those in the comments section below so I can get back to you. And also guys, if you're looking for some mower blades for your machine, make sure to look down in the description below for a link to 247parts.com. And right back there, you can also check us out there at 247parts.com to get any of those John Deere parts needs that you have, whether it be for your mower, your gator, your tractor, maybe your skid steer, compact construction equipment, whatever those things may be, make sure to check that out. And also guys, make sure and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of this great content. And as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Hey guys, make sure to check out this cool video and this one. Buy your parts right up here and subscribe right here.